Hello and welcome to Red State Plus channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use HTML and CSS to create photorealistic effects on your website. We will walk through steps to create this business card from scratch in just a few minutes. Ready? Let's check it out. The concept for this design is to create a luxury online business card and make it look real. We need to use high resolution texture as background, so I'm going to download a free marble texture from Pixel. Then create wrapper div on our page. Here's the basic CSS setup of our page. Reset the margin, set the width and height, hide the scroll bar, and set the default font family. Let's set up our wrapper. First, I will set position to absolute and set width and height to 10% larger than the viewport. We will use this to create a camera movement effect later. And next, use flex layout to center all content in a column format. And finally, set the background with marble texture. Next, we will create a card structure. For our font side, we will have the company logo and company name right below. Next, we are going to find texture for the card that gives the matte black feeling. I find this wall picture quite usable, so I will crop it, convert to black and white, reduce the brightness, and increase the contrast. And that's it. Now back to the CSS. First, set the position to relative and set the width and height. Add some side padding and margin top. I will also add a very small amount of border radius to chamfer the corner and make it look more realistic. And finally, set the texture as background. Looks good. Next, we will add some shadows. We will use multiple layers of box shadow. The first layer will be the top shadow. We will use minus top offset with 10 pixels radius of transparent black color. We will do the same for bottom left and right side. I will also add an inner shadow to create light effect on the card by using inset box shadow. Also add flex display to center the content. Looks good. Next, let's work on the logo and the text. I want to use a gold color to create a premium look. I find this gold texture a perfect match for our example, so let's download it. And here's the company logo that I have converted to black and white. We are going to use it as a CSS mask for our gold texture. In the CSS, set the width and height of the logo.
than surgical texture as background. And use our black and white logo as a mask. You will also need to add WebKit prefix to support Chrome. Looks good. Now let's work on the text. First, set the font size, letter and word spacing, and padding. Next, set the color to transparent, and set the gold texture as background. Since we are using text as mask, we have to use background clip instead of mask property, and set the value to text. And finally, add a very small amount of text shadow to create depth effect. Alright, looks good. Next, we'll work on the back side of the card. Create another default card body. For the left side, we will have the name and the job title. For the right side, we will have the phone number, website, email, and street address. Next, the CSS. First, set the position size and font properties. Also, add text shadow to create depth. Then use larger size and spacing for name. For the texture, I want the name color to be silver. I will just reuse the gold texture and convert it to white. Then we will reuse the properties for the job title, but reduce the font size and spacing. Also change the texture back to gold. Next, let's work on the contact details. First, set the width and position. Next, set the font size, font weight, transparent color, and text shadow. Then reuse the properties above to set the silver texture.
Then I will add some rotation and reposition the card. Also add scaling effect on mouse hover. Don't forget to set the cursor to pointer and add animation duration. Next, we are going to add a light effect. I will create a new div and add a transparent white gradient. First, set the position to absolute and size to 10% larger than the viewport. And 50% border radius. Then use radial gradient with transparent white color. Then set the z-index to positive value to put this div on top. Also set the pointer event to none, so it doesn't block the mouse event of the div underneath. Finally, I'm going to add a small JavaScript to create camera movement effect. So on mouse move event, I will select the wrapper and add a translate property using the mouse position. I'm using negative to move the camera in opposite direction from the mouse. Also multiply the value by a fraction to reduce the movement value. I'm going to do the same for the live div with more movement. So that's all for this tutorial, hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more depth tips and tutorials, subscribe our channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye.